Hi guys, this is Myra, also known as Glow by underscore Myra on Instagram. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve an easy 5 minute glowing skin look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. The first thing we're going to be doing for a glowing skin is we're going to keep our face hydrated. It's very important when you do a glowing skin that your face doesn't look dry. And in order to help with that, we're going to be using the Enhancer by Elsie. And we're going to spray our face. Make sure you really get in there. Don't be afraid to spray. We're going to let it dry a little bit. And then the second thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the uh, Elsie Glow Enhancer. This is perfect when you want to achieve that radiant skin and help brighten it up as well. I'm going to be doing two drops. If you're oily, I don't recommend that you start with two or three drops. You want to start maybe with one and a half. You want to build the product up. And just apply it all over the skin. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to prep our skin with the Elsie Pro Radiance Primer. A lot of people don't like primer, but I personally feel that if you want that glowy skin, you have to use the primer. The reason why is because our face naturally has oils throughout the day which is what breaks up your makeup. This is gonna help control the oils of the face and obviously give you that long lasting uh, makeup look that you wanna achieve. Now we're gonna be going in with the Elsie foundation. I'm gonna be mixing two colors today. I'm gonna be mixing vanilla and warm ivory. And I really like this foundation because it's lightweight and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It actually does feel like skin. So put it on. You can apply it straight from the beauty blender or with a brush, but I personally feel I get a better result when I apply it first with my fingers. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just blend that out. And if your lips have a lot of pigment, you can also go over it to kind of give you that base for that lip. And usually I don't really apply a lot of foundation under the eyes just because we're gonna be applying concealer. We're gonna brighten up as well. Okay, once you're done with the foundation, I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Light Medium. This isn't gonna to be to brighten right now. We're just using it to kind of conceal the bags I have underneath my eyes. I'm gonna blend that in, again with the Beauty Blender. And don't use your beauty blender dry. Make sure that you either spray it, you can spray it with the Hydra Mist from Elsie, or you can just um, run it through some water and then dry it up. Once we have that, I'm going to be using the Lise Watier um, Glow Stick. Then we're going to set that in using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've already poured some. And I'm going to dip it in here with my beauty blender and press it on the skin. You can also use a brush, but I feel that the powder best, at least applies better on my skin when I use it this way, instead of a brush. Really penetrates onto my skin. And apply a little bit on your forehead. And everywhere else on your face, not a lot, just a little bit. Now I'm going to be using the LC Cosmetics Bronzers. I'm going to be using the shade medium just to kind of give my face more of that color that I need. So bronze up ladies. And if you're light skin, I suggest you mix light and medium. I like that combination a lot. And just a little bit on the nose. Once we're done with that, we want some color on our face and I'm going to be using the minimalist palette. And I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. I'm going to use that as my blush. If you have the Minimalist palette and you don't have the bronzer, you can use this as bronzer as well. Um, it's a very versatile palette. I like it because not only can you use it for your eyeshadows, but you can also use it for the face. Like I'm doing right now, using this as blush. And as you can see, the colors are very pigmented. You don't really need a lot. I just tapped it once and I'm getting a lot of color already. Once we're done with that, we want to obviously get a little bit more highlight. 
So I'm going to be using the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. We're going to add that where we want to make sure that we're highlighting. So look at that. It's right there. And we're going to add a little bit on our Cupid spell. A little bit on our nose, not a lot. A little bit on our forehead. Now I'm going to be taking the Glow Enhancer again. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my lips. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can use this to help prep your lips when you want to do a matte lipstick or if you just want to keep them moisturized. It's multi-use. It has vitamin E, which is really good. You can also use it for the tips of your hair like I'm going to do now because we don't want to waste this stuff. Okay, now that our lips are prepped, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek Flamenco Lip Stain. And this is going to go ahead and help maintain my lips from being crusty and cracky because nobody wants that. That's disgusting. Don't do that, ladies. Prep your lips. Okay, not a lot, just a little bit. Now, this is everything before we spray in, so make sure that you check and that everything's supposed to be where it needs to be. And if you're done, you want to use the Hydra Enhancer to set in your makeup. As you saw, I applied this before my makeup application, and now I'm going to set it all in. Again, this is going to help maintain your skin hydrated throughout the day. And don't be shy with it, guys. Spray it, spray it, spray it, spray it. And as you can see, I'm wearing an off-the-shoulders blouse. So again, we're going to add a little bit of that glow because we want that glowy skin. So just add it on right there. Down your neck. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Uh, this is how I achieved an everyday glowing skin look. Um, if you like what you saw, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you tune in next week to check out what Elsie has in store for you guys.